The use of motorcycles, popularly called Okada in Nigeria, originated from Benin City, Edo State, in the 1980s. The name Okada started as a joke to mean a playful form of air transportation as it was borrowed from the defunct Okada Air. Okada in most parts of Nigeria is a major means of transportation due to their flexibility. They can maneuver through traffic congestion in the abundant bad roads that are inaccessible to taxis and buses, particularly in urban slums. It is believed that Okada is usually associated with criminalities such as armed robbery, bags and phones snatching, being a means of fast and easy escape. As part of security measures, the Federal Capital Territory Administration, FCTA, under Malam Nasiri Erufai, restricted Okada to satellite towns and urban slums. This move was backed by Section 42, Subsection 1 of the FCT Road Traffic Act. In March 2020, the FCTA, under Malam Mohamed Musa Belu, began a clampdown on Okada citing reckless driving as one of the reasons behind its decision. The fact that a lot of people associated Okadas with criminalities and recklessness, they've now been clamped down by authorities and relegated to suburbs in and around the FCT, such as Pape Abuja. Data from the Federal Road Safety Corps has it that in 2016, commercial motorcycles were responsible for 20% of road accidents recorded across the country. And according to ResearchGate, reckless driving accounted for 78% of road crashes in Karu, a suburb of the federal capital city, Abuja. The question as to what certifies Okada in Nigeria hit one hard when regularly you see people getting knocked down by these riders. This is Pape, a suburb of the FCT located few minutes away from the highbrow area of Meitama in Abuja, the capital city of Nigeria. Pape has one narrow, windy access road which is used both by heavy-duty trucks, buses and taxis. Most worrisome are Okada, meandering between them without crash helmets or any form of safety equipment. Some residents of Pape expressed serious concerns. The way Okada people have messed up in Pape, we don't like it. Sometimes even if you want to walk on the street, they will just drive anyhow. They will jam you. And the eyes they will say, yeah, goody, yeah, goody. Under normal circumstances, they're supposed to be careful with their riding. Because people have been dying on this road, especially this area. Sometimes they carry people to the express, which is very bad. And they won't even be cautious of the next car that is passing. They just enter the road without, as if they don't have value for human life. Despite the obvious risks, till date, Okada riders are not given any form of road safety trainings, nor tests, neither are they licensed. I need to know the total number of Okada riders out there, then compare with the one I have in the system that has been licensed. That will be able to give me a good arithmetic to say whether social percentage have been given or this. You will discover that some of them don't register this Okada with number plates. Like, we did an operation alongside with the Nigerian Navy, along the, a, the Nyanya AYA. Quite a number of them were arrested. We impounded those Okada here. And the only reason why we will release that Okada to you is one, you must go and register that Okada to have a number plate. The director of the FCT Department of Road Traffic Services, popularly referred to as VIO, Wadata Bodinga, reacted to the dangers posed by Okada riders who operate without training. We are going to call this uh, Okada and give them not only number, but we will ask them to paint in line with the area code that they are going to operate. For example, Guagualada, we can say Guagualada shall paint yellow, and we will say Lube, for example, shall paint blue like that. So each council and area will have a different code, and we will register the Okada rider, we will register the motorcycle, and we will need to have to uh, take his uh, all information, including biometric capture. This is to ensure security. 
Commuters and motorists believe that the federal government should, as a matter of urgency, mandate the Federal Road Safety Corps to ensure that operators of this sector in the transport industry in Nigeria are taught road safety rules, wear safety kits and license to operate. They insisted that Okada should be properly constituted so as to protect Nigerian citizens, particularly commuters. This story was put together by Osawona Me Ibizubi, a 2020 Civic Hive Media Fellow, with support from Budget Foundation.